it's going to be okay. I didn't sign up for this, James. This, this is not what I was told I would have to freaking do. Well, fair. This is part two, technically, of the Stargal Wolf Boy PC build series. So, uh, this episode is actually just going to be solely do dedicated. I was going to say donate. <laughs> dedicated to. Dedicated to the Magnus the Red model kit that we are actually going to be sticking into Chelsea's PC as a kind of surprise. Hey, we know you'll like this type of thing. Into there. So. Yeah. I somehow got volunteered for this project. Uh, I was looking forward to it. I really was until I realized I how, <laughs> how detail oriented it would be. This is, uh, it's not my first model paint I've ever done, mm -hmm. but to this expertise magnitude, it's, it'll be an interesting journey for us yeah. to go on together. Yeah. Cause I mean, let's face it for anyone who's followed my channel for a long time, Subtle detail work is not my forte, <laughs> so... And patience is kind of key in this kind of project, so... And again... The lovely and, responsibility has fallen upon me. And again, anyone who's followed our channel for quite some time knows patience is not one of my fortes. Fortunately not. It's okay. It's why I'm here. <laughs> yes. Chelsea, I have not had the wonderful pleasure of meeting you, but I've been told we would be best of friends in an instant, so I'm happy to at least yeah. do my part in hopefully making your day. Yes, so... I've already kind of started on the kit itself, putting it together, so you'll see that. And then Arlene will then take over in the actual painting of it, so... <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. Yeah. Okay, so here that lieth before you is the kind of extra surprise we're putting in Chelsea's PC. And I literally mean inside, because... George had the idea of finding Magnus the Red and adding him somehow to Chelsea's build. So he went to fordworld.co.uk, because this is all from England, and actually found the Horace Heresy version of Magnus the Red. So... What I have done is I've already taken the body off of its stand. This is a resin model kit, which I have to say, just going over the pieces, everything looks really, really good. Uh, does it look like I have to actually fix anything on here, which thank God almighty, I don't have to. I am going to be disassembling everything from its stand and actually assembling the model kit itself. However, I will not be the one to actually paint this. Arlene has so graciously slash I kind of asked her, you know, to do it, volunteered to paint said model kit. <laughs> so I'm going to start getting going on this and putting it together. There are, thank God, instructions for this. However, there are no painting instructions, so... You know, that's going to be in God and Arlene's hands. So I'm going to start working on taking this thing apart and putting it together. So hope you enjoy that. Okay, so update on where the model is. I have been working on this for probably about two hours or so. Um, I actually have the back cape 
all put on with new seals and the feathers and all that stuff. I'm right now working on the pauldron. I have it attached to the base and that crap kept falling off. I think I have it glued now to the point of where it's not going to fall off, but fingers crossed on that one. So I'm making progress. Um, next is going to be the head and arms. So probably show that once those are done. But yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. It's coming along. Okay, 95% of Magnus is done. Um, I only have to put the other piece of his staff on, and unfortunately that's being a huge pain in the ass, and I'm on hour nine of workday, and I'm tired, and I'm exhausted, and I'm going to call it a night here. So, but yeah, overall, the model in and of itself... Oh my god, that would have sucked. Uh, has come out really well. And we'll finish putting that on. I'll Well, I'll finish putting that on and then give this, pass it off to Arlene to uh, paint up. There's a little bit of cleanup left on here, so there is that. I haven't touched the super base or the secondary base to it or whatnot because it's not going to go into the PC and quite frankly I I need to walk away from this because I'm tired so you guys will see y'all will see the next bit which is going to be painting but I'm calling it a night here so see you in a moment and so the model begins So I'm just starting off with a very simple base coat and then we'll kind of see from there as it dries if we want how detail oriented we want to get with this because James did get a lot of the more parade ready paints rather than the battle ready. So we'll again we shall see how this goes um, but a nice pro tip for when you're painting models is to take just regular any small jar and use putty to mount the actual model on. This way it's a lot easier to handle the model while you paint it. So you move the model instead of your hand or your brush. It took, took, took some time and uh, ingenuity, I guess, but we got there. I have to say, that is coming along so good. I mean, it's it's literally just a very messy base layer because it, you're going to need to retouch over and over again as, as time goes on because you will inevitably overlap. It's only once you get into like the final stages of touch-ups will it be really coming together. Yeah, but even still, that's looking freaking amazing. It's amazing what just a little bit of paint will do. This is only three colors right now that's on here, or four, because I have the tan. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Safely assuming you're doing a little bit of touch ups? Yeah. Just before I put on the next uh, color, which will probably be the blue accents. But. Again, you always want to make sure that you have full coverage. So the last thing you need is to go through everything and then go, whoops, that's a bare spot. And there's a lot of crevices on this damn thing. Still mad. But it's looking so good. Well, thank you. Still mad. I'll get over it. Once it's done, I'll be happy with it. It's just the tiny detail. Uh -huh. The tiniest brush that keeps getting stuck in my hair. Oh, 
also, this brush has like one of its fibers that's like sticking out to the side. Which is ever so lovely. Because then it gets on something that it shouldn't. To quote you, this is looking so freaking good. Thank you. It's really, it's just a little bit of color here and there makes all the world of difference. And then the wash will kind of bring it all together. Yeah, it'll, it'll emphasize the shadows. Give it more of that depth. Now I'm trying to make a nice dark gray out of the light gray that she gave me. Just clean a little bit. We still have another bottle of that, right? Yes, we do. Okay, good. I can't seem to find like a good way to make it dark though without it being a different color. I'm trying to use color theory, but color theory only really helps you to make brown, not necessarily dark gray. Yeah, that's just that color. Mm. Let's start over! <laughs> What about like a drop of that dark purple? That's what it made it instantly purple. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Trust me, I tried. That was the very first thing I did, was because it's so dark. That's why I didn't want to use it for the hair. I was right. <laughs> I do have to say that, that it is looking so good. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but oh man, that that is looking a gazillion times better than I ever would have, <laughs> ever you. would have attempted. I still need to do the red trim around here, but uh, like I was saying before, I'm going to start working on the base just to give my eyes and hands a little break here. Oh, would you get to that? Thank you. <laughs> so it's been a while since we did a quick update. Um, I've just been working on detail work because I was kind of sick of waiting for James to get the black so I could start doing the washing down here. Um, but yeah, I've been doing as much as I could with the fine detail brush. Here was probably the most difficult. Uh, I obviously wasn't going to go in and try to hand draw over all of those embossed lines. Um, so I just tried to layer as best I could so that at least you could see the details. I did it there, as well as on the loincloth and on this side one as well. I think they read. That's the most important part. They're what I call an artistic interpretation <laughs> of the original design. Uh, and I think that works well, honestly. Um, otherwise, I think we're good. I just need to touch up the blue squares at the bottom of the cape, make sure all of my lines are clean, love the way the feathers came out, and then I think we're ready for the base and a wash to emphasize those shadows. And then we're done! I didn't think it'd go this well! I'm like nervous. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. You are doing spectacularly with this. <sighs> okay. Let's get it done. Let's just get it freaking done. <laughs> Out of the way. <laughs> okay, so. Da, da, it's da, da, done. Da, 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 da. You guys probably can't see it from that far away. Probably so. not, but I'm going to try and see if I can put in some B-roll footage of close-ups of this here now while we are talking about it. Because, oh my god, you did a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you. This came out so freaking good. I, I really did go into this with such low confidence, but he had all the confidence in me I needed to go on. <laughs> it really was. It was, I, I, it, out of the two of us, I know she would have been able to do it. And 
Even... I'm still in shock. I really am. The really what brought it together was that dark wash at the end. Uh, we didn't take any film of it, um, but I'm sure you'll see in any other miniature videos. A wash is just kind of a key detail thing. It really emphasizes all those deep shadows and crevices and it made the yellow which i thought was a bit too bright in the beginning but was too yeah. bright because it made it actually look like more golden and yeah. it just it really brought the character to life it did it it just looks so good <sighs> and like the highlights with the white on the cape the feathers the armor between like you know everything and all that and even on the armor itself, those little highlights of, like, the gray that looks so silver now. Yeah. It, it just, you did, you knocked it out of the park. Thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> so, so, Chelsea, I really hope you enjoy this. I really yes. do. A uh, lot, of, lot of heart and soul went into yes. it. Yes. And to make sure it gets there safely, a, the original plan was it was just going to go straight into the PC. But what we're going to do is, because we have dry-fitted it in there and made sure it fits and it does work, which it does, thank God. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to send the upper portion or the main figure itself separately <laughs> in a box, heavily padded, and then just let Chelsea know you can put it into the PC. <laughs> so she can have it on display, have it kind of hidden in the box there. Um. But yeah, no, it's... Yeah, because, I mean, I'm, I'll am i be perfectly honest, I'm afraid to ship it as, like, just <laughs> glued into the PC. As, as the base saw, is fine, but... As you guys saw from James's very hard work of yeah. actually gluing every little itty-bitty piece of it together, uh, it was... It, it's very fragile. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of hanging parts there that one bang could just... Yeah, exactly. Right off, so. so... Yeah, but I'm very proud of it. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be doing another miniature again soon, uh, but it was a fun challenge, yes. for sure. Yes, so. All right. So, thank you for that. Thank you, and also, thank you guys for yes. our thousand subscribers. Yes, we have finally <laughs> broken the thousand sub thing. If you have not seen it on social media or in our, ne or in our now new community tab, uh, me gushing about it and thanking <laughs> everyone for it. You know, really from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for all the support over the years. It, it really, really does mean a whole lot to us. It truly so. means the world that, you know, we guys can we can create content for you guys, especially after the past struggle of a year yes. uh, that we are hoping with the world coming to a bright end of the tunnel. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, we'll be able to bring you guys some yes. much deserved content that you guys, I'm sure, will be happy to see. Yes. And... Yeah, because we still have a lot of stuff planned for, as I had mentioned, and a couple of other things. We have a lot planned for this year that hopefully we will be able to get to. Mm -hmm. So, And also, um, just as a reminder, that to see the finished PC build of everything all together, you can go see that over on George's channel. Link will be in the description down below to go check out the third and final part of it, which is the components going into the PC and the final reveal for it. So. That's going to be it for this video, so thank you all very much for joining us. And you know the YouTube drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yep. And we'll see you guys next time.